All right, fellas. We get some serious wind here. Now we were just fishing here two weeks ago on the ice at this very lake. Caught a decent sized bass. And here we are now and uh, we're open water fishing. In case you're wondering what kind of rigs I'm using here, go roll an expensive yum dinger. I love green pumpkin chartreuse tail. It is my go-to. I've got a three-aught stickies hook. I got this in a mystery tackle box. Pegged with a little 3 16 ounce Wu Tungsten tungsten weight. A green pumpkin is a really nice weight, guys. You should check their website out. Probably 30 pound braid, Power Pro. On this Curado DC. Got this on a favorite Summit rod for this super lightweight combo. I mean, this thing, this combo weighs nothing. So let's see what we can catch. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed one. You see that? Oh, there's a bite. There we go. There we go. Oh, it feels good. It feels very good. It feels very good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Oh, oh, that's a, there's a four and a half pounder. All right, guys, look at that. Great way to start the day. Oh, beauty. Look at that fish. That is probably close to four, four and a half maybe. Got him on this little yum dinger with a, Little tungsten weight from Wu Tungsten. And let's let her go. Red lips. Oh, you're ready. You're ready. Oh, yeah. Wrong direction, bud. Woo wee. That is our first open water fish of 2020. And it was nice. We're going to keep throwing that yum dinger. We might try a moving bait, see if we can catch something, but let's go. That's switch legs. What is going on guys? Windy City Bassin here. Hey, it's been a minute. If you guys have hung out on my channel since the last video and are watching this one, I can't even thank you enough for sticking around this whole time. I got some water in the lens. That's because it's raining right now. It's not supposed to be raining. It is Easter. We are out in the middle of this pandemic and we're just trying to do what everyone should be doing right now. And it's finding a hobby, something to escape all the negative news and media that's going on right now. So we're going to be doing a little bit of pond hopping and we're going to be throwing our favorite springtime baits. So I've thrown some of these before on my channel, so this might be a little repetitive, but I'm in the mood to catch some fish after a long, hard winter and a tough spring for getting out there and doing what I want to do. So I really hope you guys are safe, healthy, and uh, finding something to do with your time during the shelter in place. Hopefully it's fishing. Follow me along. Let's hit up some ponds and let's crank them. All right. We've got three rods with us today, although I've got a fourth in the car. We're going to see if they're going to be biting some moving baits. And my favorite springtime moving bait is a lipless crankbait. Not in a chatterbait, but man, I'm going to, I'm giving away something today here with this. This is a quarter ounce Booyah lipless. And I'm telling you, this bait right here has caught probably more fish for me in the last two years than anything. It is money. I don't know whether it's the size, the rattle, what, but fish just love it we are fishing on my seven foot medium heavy big sexy from favorite pairs really really well with my antares dc could use some love definitely could use some cleaning probably should have done that this winter but let's let's see if we can catch some fish we are in the windy side oh, first cast first cast <laughs> i can't even oh and it's a good one oh <laughs> Oh, it's a good one. Oh, come here, buddy. First cast 
with the lipless choked it first cast guys right there look at how he ate that bait choked it I'm telling you what guys something about this bait this size bait these fish just absolutely love we're gonna need some pliers for this one oh just pop right out all right let's let this one go that was one cast one fish and there she goes there's something about this bait I can tell you that this bait I found in a mystery tackle box windy side of the lake wind is your friend all right there's a little maybe maybe a little first cast luck right there but one thing that's great about this Antares DC it's that DC that makes casting into the wind so much easier Listen to that DC purr. Let's change up for just a minute. And we're gonna throw a chatterbait. It's a Nori's, and they make these awesome little tails that have a ton of great action. And you'll notice I'm using a green pumpkin lipless, but a white yellow chatterbait. And I do that on purpose. Right there. First cast with the chatterbait. And we got a little guy, real little guy. I don't know what this guy was thinking. I mean, he's almost as big as the chatterbait. Look at that. <laughs> hey, still, the reason I have two different colors is for that exact reason. I want to see if they prefer one thing or the other. If you're curious when I'm using the chatterbait, there we go. Way out there. Whoa, there we go. Come on in. Not a big fish, but still not bad. That's two in the chatterbait. Little three quarter pounder. I love this bait. It's a very different design than like original Z Man chatterbait. Kind of the head pointed down. The blade comes off of this clasp into the weight. And these trailers are just magnificent. I've got this old ducket. Honestly, it's not a great rod. It's Missing, let's see, three guy, three micro guides. It was a really good frogging rod for a while. Got beat up a little too much. And then I've got this old Daiwa Tatua Type R that again also has been really beat up. Handles bent. Sometimes with the Chatterbait too, it's really easy to reel too fast. Occasionally, just slow yourself down. I'm gonna be speeding up a little bit. There is a dark cloud that is probably gonna come through here it's not a huge storm though so we might just stick it out there's a goose sitting on a nest straight across from me I feel a little bit of rain but it seems like actually the storm is kind of spread out now we just need to pray that it doesn't start raining too hard because my camera is a ways away <laughs> and it is definitely raining harder there we go right right at the bank right at the bank all right yep he hit it literally five feet from me i saw him come out and grab it smart thing to do would have probably been like to put the camera underneath my bag or something that would have been smart yeah last cast in this spot i'm gonna go fish this other lake right next to here well we do what we could we made the most of it this poor little dead turtle down there that's kind of sad all right fellas here we go New Lake. We're gonna start off with the chatterbait. Again, this is the windy side. Okay, let's try the lipless. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay on the move. I may decide to make a very long walk. Sure there's a lot of weeds here but we're gonna start off with the lipless oh there we go first cast here and it's a good one. oh yes all right there's another one that's a two and a half pounder 
show. Look at that lipless. Awesome. First cast in the spot. All right, that's a good fish. Let's let her go. Gone. All right, that was first cast. Yeah, that bait wasn't even in the water for two seconds. There's another one. Fish number two, baby. Nothing again, wow. Okay, man, two fish real quick and then nothing. I think we're still gonna do a long trip here, but I can tell you I'm not looking forward to it. Holy moly, that was the workout. There we go. You're ripping it right out of the weeds and he hammered it. That's another one. Might be the last one of the day on that little Booyah lipless crankbait. Quarter ounce. I think it's called Green Craw. You didn't hear it from me. Found that in a mystery tackle box last year and it has been money. We're gonna keep fishing, but this could be the last one of the day. Solid little one and a quarter. Guys, spring is just ramping up here, so turn the news off sometimes and go have fun, go fish. I'm sorry, Michigan, that just really sucks. I, I don't even know what to say about it, but otherwise, it's been awesome catching fish, getting back into the YouTube game, and make sure to leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I will be putting out more content. We'll have some videos to come. We're gonna have some giveaways. We're gonna do some fun things this summer, fishing, in Illinois, ponds, boats, rivers, and doing some Wisconsin fishing as well. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. <sighs> Feels good to get back out there. That's all, folks.